maybe collaborate. But uh, we also have produced some visuals, so we wanted to share with you. And well, I would, we would like to say uh, a bit about uh, Mirevi, that's uh, short for Mixed Reality and Visualization, what we do. We are a team at the University of Applied Science from 25 scientists, but we have an interdisciplinary background. We are media engineers, media designers, cultural anthropologists, we are dancers, artists, and we have an interdisciplinary team. And we're not located directly in the University of Applied Science, but we have a joint working environment with two companies from, from media technology and 3D design special effects. Uh, rather large, we have a number of labs where we do our research, our development, and also our teaching, and we have a lot of interdisciplinary projects with a lot of different partners, and here we would like to focus on yeah, more cultural or artistic projects. So, yeah. Uh, we do this since 2015, so we have a large number of projects. You see here our video wall where we present uh, some of our projects. And uh, the, the focus of our very broad area is on the one hand digital creative health where we design uh, experiences, solutions for patients, medical staff and relatives with a focus on mixed reality and user experience. I have a background in, in mixed reality, I think about for the last 25 years, I had one of the first uh, projects in mobile augmented reality in, in, I think we started in 2000 or so. And uh, with our, yeah, kind of creative engineering process, a lot of iterative prototyping in our labs, um, yeah, we, we work on, on a very broad number of, of projects. Uh, one focus is, sure, many do this uh, nowadays, is cognitive computing. We look at, at AI technologies and try to, to create better uh, experiences, better user experiences using AI. But uh, one focus, um, and we started, I think, three years ago to build a, a team which mainly focuses on art, culture, and technology. And uh, this is led by Charlotte, and she will present it. Okay, so I was unsure whether there another visual would come. Hi, I'm Charlotte, I'm a choreographer and um, I am trained in dance, in uh, conceptual design, and in fine arts. And I am collaborating with Mirevi Lab, and uh, together with them I'm realizing my artwork that is normally um, for museum spaces that I'm doing with my ensemble of dancers, and that is enhanced by um, challenging technology, so to say. Um, on the other hand, so I have a double row. On the other hand, I am also being in this mediation process between um, creative coders, between uh, coders and other artists, other choreographers that are uh, wanting to realize their work with us. Um, yeah, in the following, I just wanted to briefly introduce you to one of my projects as uh, an ex example, which is called Spheres. Spheres is um, an installation for a robotic flock of spherical robots and a dance ensemble. Um, we have been premiering this piece in August 2021 um, with a lot of delay due to the pandemic. And we have been exhibiting this piece with a flock itself in the museum for, for a month. And um, every other weekend we have been showing the performance with, with dancers. So the interesting thing is that this entire piece is, it's a piece itself, but it's also an artistic research project where we were exploring um, agency issues in an artistic manner. Um, so the piece is consisting of a choreography for the dancers, but also a choreography for the robots. So there is very predefined content, but also interactive content for the robots. Yeah, I'm also very happy to introduce you to more of the piece, but I think we are running out of time, so I'm skipping the rest right now. Another uh, project that we did together is, is a rose, with, uh, which is um, an installation of nine plants uh, hanging from the ceiling and a big 150 by 150 meter screen um, displaying a sphere 
also <laughs> a, a red sphere. And uh, basically the plants are, um, are taking all kind of wind impulses that um, are coming from the visitors that are moving in the museum and are modifying the sphere over the course of one day. So each day um, the sphere is starting in a round circle and then all the um, wind impulses by the moving audience is basically um, decomposing the sphere. I'm also trying to talk a lot about those projects as dance projects, although in this um, installation the dancers are the audience, obviously. Okay, to uh, summarize, so our expertise, as you can see in these two projects, but also uh, in many others on our website and also talk tomorrow, is that we're focusing on human-computer interaction using the whole body and all our senses and focus on, on designing and implementing uh, a kind of user experience using mixed reality technology. So most of us are computer scientists, media technologies, but we want to focus on the user experience and work together with artists, with cultural workers and others. Um, to adapt AI for uh, these purposes is rather important for us. And uh, as you have seen in these two uh, projects with Charlotte, we do a lot of media installations, but also um, 3D production, uh, especially as you can see here, just click. Yeah, right, we are working on 3D avatars to try to, to uh, from, from scanning to motion capturing to make this also available in real time and uh, to use this in a very different, in a number of different projects. Um, our, to support artistic research, to work together with artists is really important for us and uh, most of our team do and the technical and conceptual support for the artists or for others, but also it is for us important to look at non-technical perspectives on mixed reality, for example, social, uh, legal, and ethical uh, implications of what we are doing. And, um, well, there is another project, uh, KIN, uh, which is also a collaboration uh, from our team with Charlotte, it is an interactive dance piece with 3D avatars using a mobile AR app. You can download it from the App Store. And uh, additionally, we also created kind of media format which was presented last year as a, as a TEDx event where we talked about mixed reality avatars in the post-digital age. And there is an inter uh, action with the avatars and the environment within this app and it addresses questions like believable avatars agency and how we can create a digital performance and also some ethical issues but uh, it is better uh, if you want to know more about this then you can see our talk and especially Charlotte will talk about that on KIN tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Okay, so Thank you for being here for last, <laughs> last talk and last sessions. Thank you.